Massive flames tore through a Salem church overnight, destroying a special space full of history. After a tough fight, firefighters got the powerful flames under control. And our Fox 12's Zach Anders explains what this loss means and shows us the damage. Heavy smoke and towering flames could be seen throughout the neighborhood last night. Luckily, the fire was late and no one was hurt. But today, leaders at Capitol Baptist Church in Salem gathered to check out some of the damage. A devastating fire in Salem. It's another starting over point for us, for sure. Capitol Baptist Church has called Northeast Salem home for 69 years. Last night, they lost their original worship space to a fire that burned through the entire building. So this has been our education building. Uh, it actually had served as the initial worship space from the beginning of the church back to 1951 and 2. Uh, but we've converted it so many times. Its current use is office, uh, education, and uh, fellowship and food. Salem Fire arrived shortly after 9.30 Friday night, then spent several hours fighting the intense blaze. And when I opened the door, I saw the smoke front of my house. Flames could be seen pouring out of the roof in the center of the building. Today, only a gaping hole remains. Blackened walls, melted blinds, and scalded doors give an idea of just how hot it got inside the building. It was a pretty difficult fire to contain, actually. It's an old building, 1951-52. Uh, the construction process was quite different. Materials were different. Uh, rather than retard fire, it actually probably accelerated the fire. Inside, a library, church offices, and classrooms were destroyed. Outside, little damage. The exterior was finished with gunite or sprayed on concrete, likely trapping the heat and giving the fire nowhere to burn but up. Fortunately, firefighters were able to stop the blaze from spreading to the newer main worship hall next door. Still, Pastor John Lipton knows there was plenty left inside that will be missed. Very fabulous library. Uh, has been uh, pretty, uh, pretty well destroyed, uh, and uh, that's a big loss. Uh, and just the use of the building generally is very disappointing. Right now, there is no word as to what started the fire, but church leaders tell us the building was insured and that they're very thankful the main worship hall went undamaged. Reporting in studio, Zach Anders, Fox 12 Oregon.